Dams stop the free flow of water in the Missouri. These massive structures trap silt and sand in the still waters of the reservoirs. So far, about 7% of the system's water storage is filled with sediment. As you can see, the ability to store water in the reservoirs is slowly diminishing, and with that, all of the system's benefits decline. Less water storage means a lessened ability for the system to function as designed and as it should. At Lewis and Clark Lake, the smallest reservoir, the changes aren't so gradual. By the year 2045, that's just over 30 years from today, expect half the reservoir to be filled with sediment. Although this lake does little for flood control, it generates electricity, supports several drinking water systems, and is a thriving spot for recreation. Lewis and Clark Recreation Area, near Gavin's Point Dam in Yankton, South Dakota, is among the state's top tourist attractions. On average, 89,700 acre feet of sediment makes a new home in the Missouri River reservoirs each year. In other words, 10 square miles of mud about 14 feet deep enters the lakes annually. You don't have to have a flood for sediment to cum accumulate, but it definitely speeds up the impending train wreck. Without action, all the Missouri River reservoirs will fill with sediment and the system will not function as we know it today. Even though it will take hundreds of years to completely fill the large reservoirs, negative impacts are felt today. Still, expect to see Lake Francis Case behind Fort Randall Dam to be 50% filled with sediment by 2100, and Lake Sharp behind Big Bend Dam by 2133. So far, sediment management has not been seriously addressed by any government agency or entity. Millions of taxpayer dollars have been spent to pay for damages created by accumulating silt. Millions more have been spent to study siltation. But still, nobody has changed the oil in the car. Sediment still collects. Federal officials say that funding is not available. But the longer we wait, the worse it gets, and the more difficult it will be to correct. Today we manage a river with no plans to address sedimentation. Reservoir systems all over the world are facing this music with varying feelings of urgency. Federal agencies study sediment but have not tackled it. Independent researchers know the importance of this issue and have ideas for the short term and long term. One idea generated by a university researcher calls for a pipeline in Lewis and Clark Lake to transport sediment downstream past the dam where it is needed. Another idea in the Fort Pier area outlines building a channel which encourages the deposit of sediment in more desirable locations. The Missouri Sedimentation Action Coalition believes we need a plan, and we need one now, not later. One recurring snag we hear is that sediment solutions carry a big price tag that cannot be justified under current government guidelines. MSAC disagrees. While sediment poses problems to localized areas like Niobrara with a population of nearly 400 people, it also is a problem for the entire Missouri River system. Sediment impacts management of the system as a whole, which touches millions of Americans. Kicking the can down the road only makes addressing the problem more costly. Inflow from tributaries is a major contributor to the problem. Actions to reduce overland erosion need to be considered. 
and it is possible that some dams on tributaries, originally considered in the PICS loan plan, should be revisited. Improved land management can reduce how much sediment enters the Missouri River system, but cannot eliminate it. Reducing the amount of silt inflow reduces the cost of long-term solutions. Moving and dredging sediment to other locations can loosen the stranglehold in problem areas, creating short-term welcome benefits. One action will not reverse sedimentation. The clock cannot be turned back. Tomorrow, the future for the Missouri River and the dams and reservoirs could be much brighter. With a plan directed at tackling sedimentation, our Missouri River system can work as it should and as we all need it to work. MSAC's current position is even supported by what President Eisenhower said years ago at the dedication of Mir Garrison Dam, which he called a significant milestone in the development of this nation's material strength. He realized the need to keep sediment on the land and not in the reservoirs. He asked the nation to dedicate itself to conserve and to keep American soil and water at optimum health, improving them when possible. Thank you.